So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're here down in Devon at South Malton, Fursby Carp Lakes. My third year running on Island Lake. So the last couple of years on this lake have been really productive. First year I came, landed in six fish, PB common, a few other really nice fish. The following year, oh in that year as well, the one of the lads that came with us managed to land one of the much much wanted fish in here known as clover at over 40 pound then last year was a very interesting year if you've seen the video you'll, you'll see what i mean when i say it was interesting really tough week all week uh, the other alex who came he uh, he was catching fish all week nobody else had had anything but then all of a sudden on the last day, the last full day, I started catching and I ended up with 12 fish in the space of 18 hours. And that included one of the biggest residents in the lake, known as Black Spot, at £45.12. So, quite a strange session that one, but by the end of it, obviously, I enjoyed it. So, yeah, back here again now. Don't expect it to be anything like last year. You no, know, it was when I managed to find the fish and locate the fish behind the aerator come the end of the week it was it was quite easy to catch i don't expect that at all this week I expect much more of a challenge we have got some good weather some southwesterly winds um some showers coming in it has been quite warm um i think there's some sunny spells as well a couple of days where there's where we're going to have some really bright sunshine but we'll we'll give it a shot i've already had a good walk, walk around the lake uh, I've seen a few fish here and there um, in the places you'd expect them to because it is quite warm at the moment. Although there was a big, bit windy, it is quite warm at the moment. Sitting in the little bays in the shallower water. Um, yeah. So there's only two of us on this week. Throughout the whole week, we are being joined by Alex a little bit later on in the week, just for a couple of nights. But me and Ian, Ian who's never been here before, um, we've got the lake to ourselves this week. We've already chosen our pegs, I told him, because it was his first time. I, I was happy to sit in Jezzers if he didn't want it. I know Jezzers. Um, I would love to fish the point and inlet, but I wanted to let Ian decide if he those are the pegs that he wanted, and he did. So I was, I was happy with Jezzers. It's a peg that I know, a peg that I've fished, obviously, the last two years in a row. I've had some good fish from. But anyway, uh, enough talking. It's time to try and catch some car. Only little first fish, first first bright fish. Pretty little thing.
straighten the scissors. It's time for an update. So we're now on to Monday. Haven't updated for a while, been far too busy. Just trying to get a fish on the bank. Um, been all around the lake, trying different bits and bits and bits and pieces. Plenty of stalking. Tried various different tactics in the peg that I'm in as well. The fish just aren't interested. They're sitting just a few inches, a few inches below the surface. Big shoals of them. 10 to 15 fish sitting in sitting in the bays down in a peg called the secret and in a bay between uh, Jezzers and the lawns really tricky Ian has managed to land another fish that one off the washing line he's had three fish now off three different spots different tactics each one different baits a lovely 20 pound 20 pound fish but yeah a little bit more opt optimistic about today uh, tonight the weather's been really warm today, but the wind's just started to pick up again and I know the next couple of days it's very overcast and there's some heavy rain showers coming in. It's fingers crossed we'll we'll make them make them feed a little bit more. Certainly get them into the lower lower la layers of the of the water. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's why I haven't really been updating much. Just been busy trying to trying to get a fish on the bank. I've had eight of those little fish now. Uh, been absolutely pestered by them. Tony's come and taken, taken the ones that I've caught. Uh, he's put them down into his pond, just to try and get a few of them out of here. I think there's quite a lot in here to get rid of, though. To be fair, but yeah, optim optimistic about tonight. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The next update will be an actual fish from me. Um, all the Woodall has come and joined us as well. And he's jumped in lawn, so I've ended up back in Jezus for tonight. He's only staying for a couple of nights. So yeah, gonna get the barbecue on now. Enjoy what's left of the warmer weather before overcast and rainy the next couple of days. Lifting what we think oh, is his PB. It's got drop scale in the net. It's PB at the minute, it's 34. This fish has done 40 in the past, so it's looking like somebody's having a bucket in a minute. Yeah, that's a donkey. It's the All good? Yeah, man. When you're ready? Yeah? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Is that a bit better?
18. You said 40, didn't you? No, we changed it. Just 30 for noddies. Better eat that. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of, lack of update. It's been really, really, really tricky on my part. We're on to Wednesday now. So I've done four nights, two left. I uh, still haven't had anything. I've been absolutely pestered all week by those little fish. I think I've had about 14 of those little fish between half a pound, pound and a half. No matter what I've tried, double 15 mil boilies, simple 15 mil boilies, double wafters, tried worms, maggots, I've tried everything possible to try and get past them. Uh, nothing at all. I've switched swims, I've be spent a night in lawns. Uh, absolutely nothing. So I've moved to the other side of the lake now where it's really quiet, really calm, uh, into brambles. I've got a couple of rods just to the right of me, more towards the aquarium water. And I've got one rod underneath a tree just to the left hand side of the island. Now I know the, the fish patrol the island and I know the fish have spent a lot of time in the aquarium over the last few days. We've seen quite a few of them in there which is why I've decided to come down this end of the lake. A um, bit different for Ian though, Ian's managing, he's got two spots where the fish seem to keep going. He's catching from the same spot at the same time every single morning. One off the island and then followed very quickly by one off, off a washing line on the far margin. So we managed a 32 pound 4 ounce mirror this morning, same fish that I had last year, the big leany I think it's called, a uh, really nice fish, uh, 32 4. Alex came for a couple of days as well, he managed to squeeze one out on a washing line um, from, from lawns actually, exactly the same tactic as I did when I was in the lawns for the night, um, yeah he managed to get himself a 34 pound. 34 pound comp, uh, mirror, I think it's called three scale. Again, another fish that we, we had last year, Alex had it last year, around about the same weight. So yeah, this is why I've not really spent much time videoing, just doing everything I can, thinking of everything possible that I can to try and at least catch one fish. That's, that's my aim now, is just to get one fish before I leave on Friday. So again, I apologise if there's not much videoing and it's more updates about people's catches, um, apart from my own of course, but that's the way it's got to be. Fingers crossed the next update though is a fish. I'm a lot more confident down this end of the lake because we have seen a lot of fish feeding down here, tails up, lots of silk clouds popping up, uh, nice fairly shallow end of the lake, so yeah we'll see. Finally I can do an update with the fish from me. It's taken, how many days have we been here now? Four nights, isn't it? Four nights. And finally, the move has paid off. I've done everything possible in Jezzers. I've moved to lawns. I've spent a night in lawns. I've stalked down in the secret. I've done everything possible. Finally decided to move. Didn't take my bivvy or anything. I'm just going to spend a night under the stars. Been here, I'd say, 10 hours maybe. 10 hours, finally, with the fish got to take the weight of the sling off but we think it's around 38 pounds it's weighing 41 pounds with the sling and we think the slings one of the three pound slings so maybe 38 pound fish and it's an absolute stunner I get the feeling this is one of the one of the ones that normally goes 40 pounds Absolute beauty. Still got a bit of fight in him as well. Look at that. 
quick flip round to the other side, and then we'll get some photos. Stunning. Hopefully, I'll come back another one. Here we go, releasing the butte. Thank you very much. Fingers crossed I can still get another one. Incredibly lean, like it's very, very, very spawned out. There's no, no belly to it whatsoever. Absolutely huge mouth, huge mouth. It's only 17 pound. Nice scale pattern on the one side, but very welcome on the mat when I've been having nothing, absolutely nothing all week. Like a little torpedo shot straight underneath the trees by the island that I'm fishing. little spot that I've found. I'll easily be able to get the rod back out even though even though it's like I say midnight and just after dark. Easy to get the rod back out even though it's pitch black midnight. Middle of the night. Yeah very welcome fish on the mat. I did say I might be able to nick another one. So yeah let's get him back in the water so I can get the rod back out. Good morning. So, last night, nice to get my second fish. At least 17 pounds, but like I said uh, during the video of the clip, it's just nice to have another one on the, on the bank after such a tough week. That fish fell to something a little bit different. So, Orange Spot, which is the name of the, the 35, 36 pound carp that I had yesterday evening. That fell to a double wafter, a 15mm wafter with a 10mm wafter on top. I'd done that to try and stop the smaller fish from being able to get it in their mouths and just to put them off a little bit. So that's why I had orange spots on, but the 17 pounder I had on just a simple bottom bait. Uh, but the bottom baits that, that I've been given, uh, Alex gave me these, he left, left, left them behind when he, when he went yesterday morning. Um, they're about 16 mil. They're a little bit bigger than the 15 mils that I'm using, but just a simple bottom bait with a scattering of scattering of 16 mils around it as well. Um, so the 17 pounder took that one. But other than that, Ian, not this morning. He's he's caught every morning so far, but not not this morning. A bit quiet for him. He has had fish show in front of him on the corner of the island where they have been all week. Where he's had a, a couple of his fish, but nothing. Couldn't get a take. They're still up here, so I've packed packed a lot of my gear away. That's in Jezza's in the main swim that I've been fishing this week, and I'm going to have another night under the stars tonight. Hopefully, it won't rain like it did last night. I got absolutely soaked, but it is what it is. Yeah, packed most of my gear away. Just going to stick it out here in Brambles, tucked away, nice and quiet. But I know the fish have been coming. <laughs>
Solution number three now. A lovely 28 pound four mirror. Caught on the left hand side of the island on the bottom bait again. Came shortly after, just sprinkling an extra five or six boilies over the top. It's been out for a good few hours, nothing. So I thought I'd just sprinkle a few more boilies. Yeah, not done on now. About 10 minutes after the sprinkling of boilies. The rod rips off. It's quite a feisty one, you probably saw from the from the battle it did not want to come in at all. It's a lovely fish though. It's still got quite a lot of, lot of fight in it. Lovely scale pattern. It's lost one scale on that side, if you can see down towards its tail. Stunning. Very, very similar on the other side as well. Yeah, three fish now within the space of 24 hours. Mm, nice. Yeah, I'll take that. After the start I had, I'll take that all day long. Right, slip it back so I can get the rod back out as quick as possible. I was just about to put some bait out. I well, know it's just a huge bow wave on the surface. Just over by an angle, overhanging tree, look over at Ian. There he's playing himself a fish. So Ian's bagged himself another one. It looks like a nice scaly upper double, maybe scrape 20, but we'll see. As expected, it was a upper double at 19 pound. Beautiful fish there. Good morning. It's the final morning before I make my long journey back home. It's been an interesting week. Really slow start. I think uh, the little fish that are in here at the moment have cost me a few bites from some of the bigger ones. Um, move that's paid off. Got me a few fish towards the end. Ian's consistently been catching throughout as well, managing a, a f one or two fish a day basically for the first first couple of days then picking the odd one one off later on in the week as well but yeah I've enjoyed it it's been good it's been a challenge and I think that's probably what I've enjoyed about it to be fair not giving up keeping my eye on the lake all the time moving going from spot to spot making up making sure I was happy with my fishing rather than just being complacent and sitting somewhere somewhere where I was comfortable with well, that's what it's all about. That's what I'm here for, catching fish. We've managed to get a few, so I'm happy with that. Would not not been nice to, to get one or two more, but with the start I had at the beginning of the week, first four days and nothing, then I've got to, I've got to be happy. So that's it for now. Um, off, possibly just in the Park Lake next time. So keep your eyes open for a, a third instalment of the Park Lake journals as well. Finally going to get to go back down to to Phil's Lake in Abingdon as well, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>